So it's the second week since I've been terminated. Well, um, thank, uh, I put this out there and I put it on my last YouTube video and people said you were terminated, you were let go, or you were, um, the work source was, the workforce was corrected. The workforce size was corrected. So whatever you want to call it, in any case, I was fired. Um, but um, to my company's credit and my former company's credit, they did it the right way. They treated me, re treated me with respect. I got a severance package and I'm able to, to more comfortably look for what the next thing is. Now, um, I have been working with a mentor for several months now and that has been a game changer. So Sean, thank you very much for the, for the clarity and direction and your infinite patience. Uh, and so when one is a highly valuable consultant but can't connect your value with clients and money, then I strongly recommend you work with somebody who's been where you are and has and is where you want to be. And so the last week, the last weekend, um, I've been really focusing on um, the, and here's the exact word for word thing that my, that my mentor said to me. He said, success will come when you focus on the results for the client, not software, technique, or anything else. What problem do you solve? How do you get the ROI? And how can you, and how easy can you make it? And so those are the challenges that I have. And so I have this whole list of all, like all the services and systems that I provide. Um, and none of those are really relevant because I haven't really very clearly articulated exactly who I serve, what they're gonna get, and how easy I'm gonna make it for them to get the result. And so the, the fee that I charge has to be um, a, a, like a lot less than the value that I'm going to be providing for them. So this is the challenge and this is something that has to be written out on paper, ultimately turned into a website landing page. And then I have to reach out to my contacts. Um, and last count, there was like 40,000 of them. So like those are obviously aren't going to be all good contacts. Um, and then I'm going to organically present this offer and start to work with people. But, um, uh, so this is a whole list, but the, the thing that I'm gravitating towards most is, um, my company was called kinetic marketing systems before, and now I'm kind of more inclined to start calling it kinetic management systems because what I was doing before, um, where I was doing this, like installing systems into bars and restaurants and giving them a new phone number and then, uh, like kind of helping them, uh, cultivate a database and, and a community run their brand is good but it's a commoditized offer and so that means that it's kind of a race to the bottom as far as the fees are concerned so that means that that there are many 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 other people that are doing what what i was doing um and i was just kind of relying on my relationships and my my um my connections to build that um, to get people to want to engage with that so um one thing that is um absolutely on the mind so like for instance you know people don't say bar owners don't wake up in the middle of the night and say oh my god um, what marketing system am I going to use right now? But what they are thinking uh, up at night thinking is like, oh my God, where am I going to find the next, my next best bartender and how am I going to keep them for next for three years? And so, um, I started kind of working on that problem and, um, and I, I've come up with a, a, a way to systematize the recruiting, the training, um, onboarding and retention and offboarding of, of, of bar staff. So that's front of house team management, back of house, everything. And I'm really excited to build this out um, because it's just really fun. But again, I'm kind of like reverting back to technology and, and, and tactics when I should be thinking strategically. And so, um, uh, so the, the prevailing logic in the world of consulting is that um, you need to present one offer to one market or avatar and do it for an entire year before you've like moved on. And so what you learn over the time of, of, of presenting this offer and defending this offer and selling this offer is what people have to say in return and, and what they have to say back to it. And so you, like a certain number of people are gonna be like, yes, I'm interested, I want this. And then, uh, and then you learn and you optimize the system. And then that's when you kind of, that's when you're eligible to scale. But in the meantime, you have to just make it something that that's absolutely no brainer in your mind until you find out that it's not. And that takes a lot of work and I'm okay with that because this is the work that I have, but it's week two since I've been laid off and I have six weeks of severance, which means that I have to I have five more paychecks left uh, before uh, I am a hundred percent on my own and I have to re like, I have to remake a six and a half figure salary. So um, <clears throat> plus benefits and take care of my kid at the same time. And what I'm ultimately looking for is financial freedom, time freedom, um, while creating an astonishing value, an astonishing value, because the thing that keeps me up at night is that four out of five of my friends that own bars are going to be out of business. 
and each of those people has 20 to 30, 40 people that work for them. And all those people are going to be out of a job. So just the people that I know, we're talking about thousands of people here, are going to be likely going to be out of work in the next few months or years, right? And so this is just the way it works. This is just the way it works in the US and, um, and, and apparently it's everything, everybody's okay with that. So that is the problem that I'm trying to solve. And just having a small impact on that, on that major problem uh, would probably make me do pretty well. And so um, this week I'm really focused on, um, on, uh, on getting up some sort of a landing page because you, it's much easier to edit than it is to create. And so I'm just gonna throw something up and get it done. Um, and so I'll probably put up some, uh, some sort of a brand around it and get a domain and then just put up a quick landing page, quick opt-in page saying, hey, this is a thing that's coming and I'd love for you to, and let me know if you wanna um, get updates on when this, when this is happening. Um, and so I'll probably email my entire database saying, hey, listen, I'm cleaning up my database. I wanted to uh, make sure that, that um, you got the stuff that you wanted or don't want, don't get anything that you don't want. And I'll click here for, to, um, to, uh, to opt in, click here to not hear from me again. And what this does is it actually creates email engagement, which increases my sender, sender reputation um, and helps me warm up domains. And so, um, uh, so uh, the next step of that is, uh, you know, if you look at the 48 laws of power, then attention is a very big thing. And so, um, and so I, I, the workflow with these videos is that I will likely take this video, this long form video, edit it just a little bit, put some branding on it, um, uh, section it out, but put some chapters on it, and then I will upload that to YouTube with some keywords, some searchable keywords, um, and then and hashtags, and then put that into a software call, uh, called Opus Clip, and Opus Clip will uh, put it into segments like uh, one minute segments of, of content that I that I will distribute through the week, and then next week I will do it all again. And then the audio of this turns into a podcast and yada, yada, yada. So these are, again, these are tactical implementations. Tactical implementations. These are not strategic implementations. And so I need to focus on what is the ROI for my clients and how do I, do, how do I get that as soon as possible with the least amount of money and effort. And so, um, and so like that's kind of the job. So one market, one offer and one for one year um, and it's gonna revolve, probably uh, likely revolve around um, staff recruiting, retention, uh, uh, and um, and inbound lead generation. So, like, what I'd like, what I love to do is I love to optimize business pro uh, Google My Business profiles, make sure that the search terms are there, make sure that people um, are 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 able to connect your brand with what they're actually looking for. Like, for instance, it was Cinco de Mayo yesterday. It was margaritas. So everybody knows what a margarita is. It's the best selling cocktail in the world. Um, if there's not some sort of, if you have anything with tequila in it, um, then there should be some reference to a margarita. For instance, like, you know, if you have a stirred tequila cocktail, then um, like a boozy tequila or mezcal cocktail, then it should be like, it's like a, it's like a margarita, except for it's stirred. I know this sounds corny, um, but, um, but it is effective. And so people are already looking for margaritas. If you start typing um, margarita in Google Maps, it'll say margaritas near me. And then what it does is it looks through all the, so all the profiles of the Google businesses around you and, so, and, um, and, uh, and it serves you the answers to those to those places. So that's what my week looks like. Uh, my my mentor, thankfully, is quite involved. And um, and again, the reason I listen to him is because he is where I want to be. And um, and don't take advice from people that that are not where you want to be uh, is is another thing that I learned. Um, on a personal note, um, it's been a m couple months since I've had a drink, um, and that's that's been great for mental clarity. But um, for like for like. <clears throat> to get clear as a bell and just like to get great sleep, wake up well, like wake up and just be motivated all the time. Um, I also cut out meat, eggs, dairy, um, uh, sugar, starch, and, um, and gluten. And, uh, that's been a game changer for me. So, um, I, I basically do meal preps and, um, and that way I don't have to think about it. I do one set, one set of cooking one, once, once a week. Um, and then once that means one set of dishes, which, and every time I open up the fridge, there's meals ready to go. So whenever I get hungry, which is typically in the afternoon, I will usually eat like one meal a day. Um, uh, that's when I, I will eat and I will just eat a lot of food. Uh, uh, and it's all really healthy for me. It's all really good for me. And I don't even have to think about it. So, um, that's kind of it. That's kind of week number two as, as far as my journey. And, um, uh, thank you for being here. I, I look forward to, um, to providing you some, some value in how we um, arrive at these destination points. Thank you.